Oh shit. Now, I'm bogged because it took more than what I fought to get him out, so. <laughs> Oh my god, that, <laughs> that's the best start to an episode I've ever had. Welcome back to another episode guys. I'm literally in the middle of nowhere. Today I'm going to do like a, a survival, I'm seriously not in a survival situation. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to try catch a feed with just a knife, my hands or whatever I can find. I'm not going to use any spear guns or fishing rods or anything like that. I bring no food with me, just water. I got Strider Dog of course. And yeah, we're gonna camp out tonight. So what they did is they've um, been in this track and they thought, oh yeah, we'll just sneak across this track. And they fully bottomed out on this like, big bed here. And the car was actually like stuck. It was like balancing on its belly. And I've come along and pulled them out here. But what happened was as soon as I broke that surface of the pin down there, I just sunk. And I was then almost on my belly, but I didn't want to go all the way down because then I would have been buggered. Just a little toe out that way. That was fun, man. And I found some rubbish. They were so nice. They were, I told them what I did for a living. I've been like a YouTuber and they just couldn't believe it. <laughs> so that was pretty cool. And now we're convoying. So I've got myself some friends for a little while. Destination reached. Me and Strider's about to drop the ski in. I got my wetsuit on. These guys are probably wondering why I got a wetsuit on. It's because there are so many bloody midges around here. It is ridiculous. You just literally get eaten alive. There's no rules. I'm just doing this for fun, guys. Making it up as I go. Huh? You love this, don't you? You love being out here. All right, let's drop her in and that way somewhere. I'm just gonna nestle her against this mangrove tree here. It's nice and soft, it won't do any damage to the tree, it won't do any damage to the ski. The wind will just push it up against there and it'll stay there like an anchorage while I go chuck the car away. Good girl, Strider. <laughs> Pretty much the high tide and what I'm gonna use this time for is just cruise the banks while I can on my jet ski and I'm sort of foraging, I'm looking for stuff to make a weapon or to use. So I'm looking for like fishing line or fishing hooks or anything overhanging in any of these trees so I can salvage that and maybe go for a fish. Um, I'm pushing up a creek as far as I can go. Same as what I'm doing, all the fish and the crabs and stuff push up with the tide and they push out with the tide. So maybe I'll bump into a, a high tide mud crab walk in the banks or something like that. Really just winging it. The, the main thing I'm trying to do is, is look for food, you know. So I do have a knife, I can make a weapon if I want, and at the, on the low tide I can go hunting as the tide pushes out on the mullet and everything will be up on the banks. So there's that option. So I'm just gonna push up this creek a bit more and find a place to pull the ski in at high tide and just go for an explore and see what I can find, see what I can, uh, see what I can do for you guys. This is already so awesome, hey? Like, I love doing this. Normally, normally this tide is not over those banks there. So this is a great opportunity for me to maybe find a mud crab that's come out and is going for a walk. Oh, it's hard. I thought that was gonna be like super soft mud. Jump. Oh, good girl, Strider. Oh my God, I just dropped a knife. Bloody hell. This thing's bulletproof. I was just about to say, all right, let's go hunting. <laughs> but I dropped my knife and I look like an idiot. Right, I just had a quick look around. There's not too much happening on this part of the system. So I don't want to waste any time while it's dead high and the water's over the edge. This is where the mud crabs will go walking. So, oh, sorry about the audio, it's windy as shit. Um, I'm gonna hop back on the ski and go find another little spot. Good girl, Strider. Normally I wear my uh, vest when I'm cruising along the ski, but I'm literally going to sit on like one kilometre. Just keeping my eye out for stuff. So I'm just going to opt not to wear it. I'm sitting on it right now. But uh, let's see what we can find, huh? Just pulled up to another little bank. And uh, whoa. It's actually beautiful in here at the moment, the dead high. Look, it's so nice. That out here in the middle of nowhere, if I get stung, bitten by anything venomous, I am not looking too good. All right, we're pretty thick in the mangroves at the moment. 
and I sort of started looking for my crabs like it's just an instinct. I am gonna start looking for a really straight mangrove stick that I can carve into a spear. Um, when that tide starts running out, hopefully that'll be my best bet to get a fish if I don't find a crab. So I'm doing both. Strata's having an absolute bowl over there. Ow! That. Oh, sorry, stick. What's she got over here? What do you found, Strata? Anything? Any crabs? Mm -hmm. Right here, looks like a pretty straight, good stick. Spiderweb. Spiderweb. That might be my little spear. Just borrowed myself a little stick. So when I get out of this thick mangroves, I'll uh, carve that up, put a little pointy tip on it and see if we can get some fish. <laughs> We're getting real deep in the system now. So hopefully something Ow. shows itself. At this stage, I'm regretting not wearing booties. <laughs> oh, idiot. Whoa, look how deep my knee just went down. That is all the way to my knee in mud. Oh, it's getting warm in this wetsuit, but it's either that or I get absolutely eaten alive. It really is one of the harshest and remote places. It really is one of the most harsh and remote places to live on these barren salt flats, man. Like I've found so many dead animals, injured animals, turtles, stingarays that just get washed up with the big tides and they just can't stand the heat. They get stuck, they get stranded and they don't survive, so. You're crazy. You're crazy. Slow down, hey, that's my, she's trying to get my stick. Hey, hey, you need to relax, okay? Oh, man. Take a look around, guys. I'm sorry about the wind. All right, guys. What we've got here is the remains of a sea turtle. Small one. And uh, what happens is, like I was saying before, tides sometimes push all the way up here, like a rare tide, once every few months, if that. And all these young sea turtles follow the tide up, get stranded, get exhausted, and they die. That's, the, that's just the reality of it. The tide here is one of the biggest killers ever. But that is nature, and that is a part of the whole turtle life cycle. They come into this area as juveniles. This is where they sort of do their growing up a bit to get back out into the deep blue and... <sighs> So, yeah, it's a shame. Not sure if I can use any of this for anything. You know what? That, you know what that would make? That's gonna make a great spoon. Strider of all times wants to challenge me right now. I knew you wanted to do that. You're crazy. You're crazy. <laughs> Such an idiot. Strider, we're in a survival situation here. No time to play? Okay, fine. Crab hole here, guys. I don't have a hook, so I gotta go in with my hand. I'm gonna go underneath. Oh, see where that where that hole goes. Nah, no one home. You're not gonna believe it, I just squashed my tools. Oh, I had to leave them behind. Man, it's, it's kind of cool just walking around here, not knowing what I'm gonna sort of end up catching or finding. 
And obviously as the day gets longer, I get hungrier, so everything starts looking like a snack. Is this a crib? Holy shit. I take it back. Not just small turtles, man. This is a monster, monster turtle skull. Oh, wow. That is huge. I knew it wouldn't be long before we come across one of these little buggers. There's a little sea snake here. Cruising the shallows. One of the most venomous snakes in the world, but they're pretty docile and they don't normally bite humans. And he's just followed this creek system up and they can live a long time out of the water. So they're not too phased if they become high and dry. And he's just pretty much scabbing. That's what he's doing. Such a beautiful little thing. Hey mate. Those shadows would all be bugging him out because they see sort of in shadows. They don't have the best sight. These particular sea snakes here sort of adapted to be half land, half water. They don't really have a full paddle tail like the other big olive sea snakes and stuff like that. And they can actually boogie quite fast on the actual mainland. It's so fascinating, man. Oh, he's coming back out. Hey, mate. Hello. G'day, mate. See there, he's just coming up for a bit of a breath. And then go back down and doing his business. Hey mate, I don't want to hurt you. The only time I've really seen these guys vicious is if you corner them and they have to back themselves up. They really don't like going in reverse. And as they're going back in reverse, they'll start snapping. But, I mean, this guy would have to hit me in the, in the gaps between my fingers or something like that to actually get his mouth fully around me to uh, inject that lethal dose of venom, <laughs> which would kill me. <laughs> so my shadow's gone over it now, and it thinks that I'm a predator. So you get out of the shadow, and uh, that'll be me. See you, mate. I'm sorry I spooked you at the end. I I'm not here to hurt you. I'll let him carry on with his hunting, and I'm gonna carry on with mine. <clears throat> What's the mud skipper? You know what? You can go. Strider's the best hunting dog. She like actually knows what I mean. When I say be quiet, she's just so quiet. Look at her. Still for me. Come on, Strider. She's the best dog ever. Oh, what the hell? Oh, it's a turtle! Oh. Oh! Strider! Whoa! Strider! That scared the shit out of me. I didn't know that was a big, like a turtle there. I literally could have grabbed that. I mean, in a real survival situation, that's Tucker right there. That's Tucker for days. Just by luck, but that turtle actually spooked most of the fish in this little system here. So I'm hoping that there's something. Oh, damn, I'm gonna film. I just seen one. You know, next time at that place, I'm gonna make a trap and I'm gonna trap some of those fish. I should have done it. As the tide's pushing out, if I block that off, I will have picking at whatever fish that I want. Oh. Oh, righto, next destination. When you skier something is stuck up on the mud or sand, it's good just to shake it and go up and down at the back. Like this, you look like an idiot, but that's gonna push. Hey, there's that turtle. There's that same turtle. There it is. That's gonna push all the mud and sand out of your intake and when you start up, it won't pump through the system. Pretty much going all the way to the end of the creek, like a couple of kilometers really, more. And it's getting really narrow. It's really handy on the echo sound. It's still one meter and I can see what's going on. So I've got plenty of water still, even though it's rushing out. And I might just find a bank up here and go explore. What is this? 
What way to go? That way looks like a dead end. Man, I'm not even going to be able to turn around up here. Before I go any further, I'm just going to put some zinc on. So many people ask me what it is. It's just like a really thick sunscreen. And the reason I don't put it on the bottom half of my mouth is because, well, I must have a big forehead or something. I never get burnt below my lips. It's all the top and my nose and my face. But yeah, that's why I put it on. All right, I'm breaking out the booties because look at the color of my feet. They're actually red raw. They've been getting pumped. Oh, oh my God. Booties, wetsuit, knife, stick weapon thing. Strider dog, I actually feel like I'm invincible. Feels like I'm in a video game. Man, it's just one of those days that it's not happening food wise for me yet. Obviously, I could eat bloody bugs and shit, but we're trying to find something substantial. So we're still going to go, but the tide's actually pushing out too much now. I got to get out of this system and back towards where I, where I dropped in and we'll just see what we can find along the way. Here we go. The best part about this is the send out of here. Eww. See you guys on the other side. Hold on, Strider. Out of my wetty, got the ski on. Strider's in the car. These things are sick. It's actually Jared's, I, I pinched it. Yeah, boy. The water actually doesn't look too bad just over the hill there. It's, it doesn't look too windy at all. Tide's definitely too low for me to drop the ski in. Oh. Let's get Strider. To search these tide ponds here. A spearfish, octopus. We'll just see what happens, huh? This is perfect tide for me to go exploring. And uh, I'm getting so hungry right now. I found a pretty good tidal pool. <gasps> I just found a big swimmer. Yes! Yes! There's a dilemma here, right? Found a size swimmer crab. Beautiful crab. It's a female. It's not illegal to take females, but it's definitely frowned upon because these are the breeders. But man, I'm starving. I haven't eaten anything all day, but you know, I can't justify taking a female. I've never done it before in my life. So I'm gonna put her back in her tide pond and fingers crossed, I don't regret this decision. Oh. Oh. There you go, sweetheart. It's your lucky day. Go on. Try not get out. I just stood on like a flathead or something and it just went crazy around me and went underneath the sand. Got something here.
And it's scared because I don't know what it is. The hell is this? Shit, what are they bloody called? Having a mind blank what that's called. A flounder! I'm just gonna put him out of his misery. And that there is, is perfect. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this or thinking about doing this. Oh my God, sea cucumber. I'm going to eat this. I know people from all around the world, these are a delicacy. I've got my little flounder over there. I know I don't want to eat the insides of this guy, so I'm going to get my knife out and I'm going to open it up, take all the guts out of it and cook her up with my flounder and that should be a good enough feed to get me through tonight. Oh, sorry. Oh, yep. Ah. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's so sticky. I'm going to make quick work of this slug. So it doesn't feel any pain. I mean, it is a slug, but all right. Is the tube of shit that I want to pull out of the, the sea slug. Pull it out in one. All the stuff that the slug's been eating over the years and it doesn't look appetizing. There you have. Check out the flesh. Once you get over the fact that you're eating a slug, that is probably actually going to be not too bad. It looks quite like, yeah, I don't know what it looks like, but it looks it's gonna be all right. Damn, I dropped my slug. All right, this is it, that's my grub. I'm gonna go make a fire and cook it up. Where's that airplane? Whoa. Between 9, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, they literally, there's like a hundred in this area. They look like big turds. So I'll be eating good from now on if these taste all right. <laughs> I'm just walking around looking for like a plate so I can put my, my grub on it and prep it before I make a fire, but there's not really too much around here at the moment. Ah. Oh, oh, that slug. Ugh. Anyway, like an old bit of uh, tin there that's been in the ocean for a long time. I'll uh, obviously keep that for a plate and then I'll take it to the tip. Well. Oh. Here you go, Strider. This is it. This is gonna do us. This is camp. Oh. That is good, Lord. Good stuff, I see. All the solids down the bottom here. Get it. Strider's just helping me dig a hole, make a fire. <laughs> Alright, that's enough. Rub a bit of the dead spin effects grass together, and all this stuff here is super fine, super dry, and hopefully will love a spark for my little flint over there. Uh, it snapped off the knife, so I gotta. I got nothing to hold it, so I gotta use my little pliers there. There it is. There it is. There it is. There she is. Yeah, baby! Woo! We got fire, baby! Woo! Yes! Oh, I'm so hungry. Oh, I'm so hungry. Never been this excited about eating a sea slug in my life. But I can't wait. Ugh. Getting nice and warm. But it's actually getting quite cold. As soon as that sun disappears behind the hills there, it just starts getting nice and cool. Just found myself a nice, live, living branch. 
and I'm gonna turn this into a skewer and hopefully the meat cooks before the stick does. That's the plan. There's me, <laughs> there's my sea slug I prepped earlier and a flounder that I caught in my hands. Oh, shouldn't have smelt it before I ate it. Oh, hell yeah. I'm gonna cook these buggers good. Hopefully my stick holds out. I might be able to cook this flounder on this tin. That's probably a great idea, like, if I chuck this straight on some hot coals, this tin might get super hot. Therefore, I might be able to cook this little bad boy uh, just like a normal pan. So I'll give that a go after I eat this slug. I just lost one to the fire. Ah, oh, I've seen it slowly starting to break. You know what? That doesn't look cooked at all in there. I'll uh, let them sit for a little bit and we'll get this flounder on some coals and hopefully that cooks on that. I'll just put that. <sighs> right there. Shit. Sand all over it. Well, I mean, a bit of sand's not going to make it taste any worse, is it? All right, so just want to try and bend that a little bit. Ow. <sighs> See how we go. Oh, it's getting hot already. This might actually work. Oh my God. It's definitely cooking. Probably should have cleaned that first. Well, I mean, that is that is cooking. That is 100% cooking. So, oh, fingers crossed that works all right, man. Wow. This is crazy. This is why I do it. Obviously, not in a survival situation, like I can hop in my car right there and drive a couple of hours home, but this is, if, if you don't, I would never ever be sitting on the beach right now with striders, a beautiful sunset goes down, eating flounder that I caught with my hands on a bit of tin that I've found that I'd washed up on the beach, which I'm gonna chuck in the bin, which is rubbish anyway. And I've got some fresh, as good as you can get, sea slug. Right on that stick there, just, just marinating its own juices. <laughs> Uh, uh, I guess if you don't do this kind of thing, I wouldn't, I guess if I wasn't trying to do these little survival missions, which I've been doing since I was a kid, I wouldn't get to do anything like this, all this weird stuff. So I don't know, thank you guys for, uh, I was cop smoke in my face before, so my eyes are in my nose all runny. I just want to thank you guys so much for your support. It's wild how lucky me can be making a career out of eating slug. So thank you guys so much for your support. Drop a like, subscribe if you haven't, and uh, whoa, that's curled up into a bowl. Look at that, bowl of flounder. Let me just, okay, righto, all right. I don't hate that, I don't hate that at all. I'm just cooking a, a bowl of flounder to eat. Just gonna chuck them guys on for a bit more while my flounder bowl's cooking. <laughs> uh, have a go at the sunset. Have a bloody go at it. Absolutely beautiful. Not a person for miles and miles that way. Not a person for miles and miles that way. 
It's just me and Ed. <sighs> it's bloody beautiful, man. Oh, that is gonna do. How's that for a plate? That is gonna be absolute perfect. I believe it, but I just accidentally rolled my little flounder parcel off and it went in the bloody sand. Now there's sand all over it. There's me slug. Just chuck it straight in the bowl. Sand. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's not nice. Oh, that smells so bad. Oh, that's not nice. Wow, it is so, so salty, but. It's almost spicy. I'm pretty sure I didn't cook that very good. I'm gonna put this on the pan for a while. Or oh, I'm just not gonna eat that. I'm sorry guys, but I'd rather starve tonight and try to get something better tomorrow than stomach the rest of that. <clears throat> oh. There is my flounder bowl. This is gonna taste a lot better, a lot better than that cucumber, that sea slug. Right, there, guys. Just lost it. All right, so that's all it's got for a look. We don't want any of that. That there is all beautiful flesh. Oh. After eating that slug, that tastes so, so good. <sighs> Just peels off the bone. Do the people straight up? Come on up. Here. Woo. You got bickies, so that's all you're getting, okay? Dad's got to eat this. You like it, didn't you? Well, I'm pretty much just like, I'm just sucking on the bones now, really. Get all that little access bits of meat, make the most of it. Yeah, that sun's pretty much gone. Means it must be about 6.30, maybe a bit later, because there's not a cloud in the sky, so. Well, oh, pretty buggered, guys, to tell you the truth. Uh, in a proper survival situation, it must be so horrible. One, like I know I'm safe, which is the biggest thing. Like, I know I'm going to survive. I know I'm going to get home. I know it's all good. If I didn't have my car, my ski, anything, like literally just in a full survival situation, it would be scary as I'd like to think I'd pretty much do anything possible to survive.
anything. I'd even drink my own wee. <laughs> How you going, Strider? You want your bickies? You want some bickies? All right, I'm gonna give Strider some water, some bickies. I'm gonna have a big drink of water myself. Go wash my hands, wash my face down in one of those tide pools there. And the battery on the GoPro is just about dead. I burnt through three batteries today. That charger that I showed you before has been a little bit dicky, but fingers crossed I can make it work. And I'll charge those batteries up tonight. And first thing tomorrow morning, we'll wake up and I'll just see how I feel because the night time's really, if I don't get a good sleep and I'm running low on energy, I'll uh, probably just call it in the morning or I'll just see what happens. You, you have no idea. It's a full moon tonight, so anything can happen. Really, it's no rules. I'm just doing whatever I want. I don't even know what I'm talking about now. I'm probably just talking to the GoPro now and you guys because, I don't know. There's no, nothing nothing else out here to do or talk to. I got Strider, but... All right, guys. Update time. We got rid of the ski. That moon up there is so bright that me and Strider are just gonna do a couple of laps along the beach. We can't sleep very good. The tide's coming back in. Like, it is 9.36. So, yeah. So that's that's what's going on right now. Hey, Strider. Huh, come here. Come on. Yep. So, we're just gonna burn along the beach here. I might actually even, um, I don't really know what I'm doing, Joe Drew. Live update of what's going on, guys. It must be about 10, 10.30. It's pretty quiet tonight on the encounters front. I don't, really don't even know what I'm talking about at the moment. Anyway, this is probably my biggest survival test of this episode so far. You know that slug I ate earlier? It is not doing good things for my belly at the moment. <laughs> and I've got no toilet paper. So, I'm going to have to go do an aquanard. I'm going to have to strip off, snap off, and wipe at the same time in the ocean. I know a lot of you probably don't want to hear it, but ha, huh, it's a part of camping, really, and surviving. <laughs> so I'm just... <sighs> I'm just prepping myself up right now, guys. I'm just mentally preparing myself to get butt naked in a minute and go to a poo in either a tidal pond or in the ocean. So there's your live update. Wish me luck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm serious. I just want to be a cook, 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 cook. Hello. Hello? 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 <laughs> Hi. Oh. How's a good night? Dry up. Hello, sweetie. Hello. 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 Good morning. What have you been up to? You got up early this morning, didn't you? Oh. <laughs> oh. You want to come back in here? Go on. You want to come back in here? Good morning, guys. It is pretty light, actually. I finally went to bed late, late last night. It must be about 7 o'clock now. I only had a couple hours of sleep this morning. It is freezing. Like, I got my hoodie on, my pants on, I'm inside my sleeping bag. Strider! Yes, hello! Okay. And I actually rolled the swag out near the fire, but early this morning when that wind come in, I pulled it around in front of the car here, hoping for a bit of a bit of a wind blow. I don't actually want to get out of bed at the moment. And oh my mouth, it feels like 
s slug crawled up in there and died. Oh, like, uh, but yeah, this is what's going on this morning. Oh, what are you barking at? Hmm. Shadows is barking at something. Oh, that's right. When I moved my ski around last night so I could go for a little burn in it, notice that the winch broke again. See that? So it's only, it was only held on by the chain, so I'm gonna try and fix that before I bail this morning. Yeah, it is so windy out there. Like, I don't know what to do today. Oh, it's still so warm. Don't sit on your fireplace unless you test it's okay to. <laughs> That's so nice on my butt. <sighs> Put this one in the bin. No energy for this kind of dilemma in the morning. Damn it. Got it. It's just holding in there. Alright, I'm gonna. That's it, guys. I am done. I'm tired. I'm cold. I'm hungry. <laughs> uh, I really suck at survival, really. <laughs> but man, that was so much fun. It's the best way to kill like a super windy couple of days. Um, what is trying to do it? What are you doing in here? Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna hook the ski on. I'm gonna hook the ski on and get out of here. Hope this audio is okay. It's a little bit windy, but that's it for another episode, guys. If you like this kind of uh, episode, leave a comment below and I'll do some more whenever it blows up or gets windy or, I don't know. Thank you, Sea Dude, for hooking us up with the Fish Pro. Absolutely having a great time with that. It's been really good so far. I am gonna go and get that big fish that I lost again the next couple of days whenever that wind buggers off. The uh, Ranger, I still got it, but it's waiting for a tow ball to come and it takes forever to get stuff into my town. Yeah, so if you like it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you guys wanna see more, make sure you subscribe. Get your merch, youngbloods.co if you wanna show some love. And uh, <laughs> I'm pretty much gonna drive straight to the bakery and buy the whole bakery because I'm starving. <laughs> hey, Stridey. Oh, see ya.